Hey, let me. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good. Very warm, obviously. It's like... outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got people joining us. Welcome, everyone, to our student rep talk. So I'm really excited to find out about student rep. So I, before I joined Amicus, I did not know that this is a thing. Nice. So Firstly, how did you find out about Amicus? Um, so I think to start with, it was like a three-part webinar that Amicus did, like maybe last, the summer before the pandemic. <laughs> okay. and, um, and yeah, and I was like, re uh, well, I was watching this webinar and it was on um, kind of just like death penalty. They were talking about their placements as well. And then like just kind of right at the end they mentioned like um student rep position and i was like i'm going back to uni in september <laughs> and um so i thought it would it would work out really really well and um so yeah so i did a bit more oh. researching and then i applied to it and it was it was really fun it was a really really good decision i think that's really cool yeah i like it so um what actually made you want to become a student rep then? Um, I think quite a lot of it I do attribute to that like webinar series because that was kind of the first time I heard anything yeah. about Amicus and kind of oh. like their work and everything like that. Um, yeah. So I think kind of having that introduction and understanding the work and how important oh. it is was, I think, I just kind of was like, I need to be involved somehow. Give, uh, give me a way to be involved <laughs> so that was what I went for and yeah it was just, I just wanted to spread the word really yeah so tell me about what you actually do as a student rep like what is the role what do you do so spreading the word is a big one <laughs> yeah uh, trying to get it as you know people know the name Amicus and know what what we do and everything like that as much as I can um, and then the other really, really big thing is fundraising. Okay. Uh, and then also like trying to encourage people to go to like the training sessions and like, you know, the death penalty training and things like that and becoming members. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it was, I think it's, it's really, it's just fun. You know? <laughs> like being able to it tell, sounds fun. like uh, share something that you find really, really important yeah, that with other people and then getting them sort of match your level as well Be like yeah. oh yeah no, this is really interesting so that's really cool um and how did the pandemic affect your role well <laughs> quite 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 a lot really so when i applied it was just before lockdown and all of this sort of stuff okay. so I, I applied with the uh intention that i would be in person um and I, can't, I quite like the challenge though, you know, like when it, when it started to um, become quite apparent that there wasn't going to be a person, I was like, okay, I'm going to have to yeah. things because a lot of the preparations I've been making kind of like in my own mind <laughs> were like what events I could do kind of in person and like how I could do fundraising, like, you know, I had all sorts of classic ones like raffles and, you know, like cinema little film screenings things like that yeah like, okay so I can't do kind of any of those <laughs> very easily um and so I think with that it was it was just kind of a good challenge to be like okay what can I what can we actually do because we were obviously all pretty much not at uni I mean I commute to uni anyway so <laughs> <wasn't Okay>. even... <laughs> um, so it was it was quite funny just to kind of figure out things that we could do as a team, but individually. <laughs> um, yeah. So, but we, I eventually managed to come up with the um, like idea of getting people to do their own walks or runs or things like that and have their own sponsoring. Um, okay. But as like part of a team that would be all together. So it was, 
it was quite it was quite difficult but we got there <laughs> i can imagine yeah, yeah. It must and be I, so hard when you had all these plans and then yeah. COVID's like, ha, 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 no, not happening. <laughs> I think it's quite, quite similar for most people, isn't it? COVID just kind of... Obviously, yeah. Most people's plans, um, you know, yeah. but it's a good challenge. And I think as well, it's difficult because, like, right at the beginning, I was like, how am I, how am I going to get members? Like, how am I going to find people? Um, yeah. Like, I'm really, really lucky because actually the School of Law at the Brooks are absolutely fantastic. So they're really, really active. So I got into contact with them and they just kind of were like, we're going to throw everything at you. <laughs> we're going to give you all the... <laughs> so yeah. Really, really lucky in that, um, in that sense, I think. Yeah. So also I saw you're planning on doing the GDL, right? Yeah. So I've actually already started. So I'm doing it part time. Oh, okay. So yeah. I've done Year and I'm just going into the second year. Oh, so what did you do for your undergrad then? My undergrad was forensic studies, <laughs> very random. Okay, not too different. Like, yeah. It was yeah. kind of it was the way in, because actually the way I got into law and everything else that's kind of spiralled from then was um, it was like post-conviction appeals and things that we did in one of my modules and it was kind of... Okay it was as part of like the innocence network and things like that so it's kind of amicus just felt like a really really like organic sort of it stuff. sounds like it yeah it just sounds very natural yeah. to sort of go into this sort of thing yeah so yeah that's really cool um and what would you say to people who are thinking of becoming a student rep oh, i'd say do it for sure like i mean especially because obviously i was saying how it was quite difficult to like find members and things like that but I think I was quite lucky because that gave me a, a way to actually like meet a bunch of people I otherwise wouldn't have met during a pandemic especially <laughs> yeah but yeah it's, it's just brilliant like having the opportunity to meet people share your enthusiasm and then have them be really really excited about it as well it's just really it's brilliant yeah I yeah. just do it <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. So if anyone's thinking of becoming a student rep, Bernie says do it. Exactly. You can quite so, do it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So is it sort of like an amicus society kind of thing? Is that how it works? So um basically so when I went in, it was kind of I had to start building it up again because there I think there had previously been a student group and um at Brooks, but it has kind of disintegrated into okay. <laughs> And no one else took it up um so I kind of a little bit from the scratch which was quite daunting I think um but actually I really enjoyed it because it meant that I could kind of have the control and I I, I was kind of like a blank slate almost like okay. yeah so um we we start we focused mostly on like fundraising this time around um mostly because that was the easiest thing to do with Covid and everything yeah um, and if there's about I think there were seven of us who did the fundraising um, challenge back in February. Um, so yeah, it, it's not quite a society, but we're kind of like just a group of group of like. Okay. You know? <laughs> um, I see. And <laughs> yeah, so yeah. obviously now you're a UK office volunteer with me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and. Do you think you would have done that if you weren't a student rep or do you think you still would have done that anyway? That's a really interesting question. I think, um, I don't well, know. I, I guess what I mean is, did it sort of open up that door for you? Yeah, I think, I think it did. Because I think being a student rep allowed me to have, first of all, like more exposure. And um, kind of the more I learned, the more I was like, oh no, I, I really want to get involved with this. Yeah. <laughs> like, whereas I think if I hadn't been the student rep, I might have, I don't know, not felt like I would. I don't know. I, I think, I think it, it definitely did because like it just made me feel more comfortable as well. Like with the yeah. program, getting it. Like when I had like an interview and things, I was like, oh, I know you. <laughs> Yeah, I guess so. But I think that is the thing with Amicus. When you learn more about what they do and how it all works, you just get so drawn into it. Um, 
and you know it's one of those where you're like okay I could just do this forever (laughs) because it's just so important yeah and And I think you know raising awareness for students is so good because personally I didn't know student reps for amicus were a thing so I think this could be a really good opportunity for other people to sort of see the stuff that you do and think oh I want to do that in my uni yeah for sure I also think as well stuff that amicus actually offers for students is incredible like I mean obviously they've got just a quick and I said this earlier but I'll say it again students get you know discounted uh tickets to like the death penalty training and all that sort of and I just think it's amazing because I don't know really that many other places you can get that sort of exposure as a student. Like most places, you know, you've kind of got to have like three years of experience or like things yeah. like that. Whereas I think you can get properly involved with that. And I think that's just amazing. And I can't, I can't really understand why people wouldn't jump in and get involved, you know? <laughs> yeah, I completely agree. And just like going off track a little bit to placements Mm because you know it's a great conversation (laughs) can you see yourself going to do a US placement one day I would absolutely love to do that like that was kind of the the main reason when I was watching the webinar and stuff they were talking a lot about the US placements and as I was watching it I was like this is insane like (laughs) it's amazing the the what you can be a part of you know and and the community and like as well as all the opportunities that are open to you and like oh it it does look amazing and absolutely love yeah. if i can no, think- I completely agree <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i was gonna say so you would as well would you yeah oh 100 percent. yeah i'd absolutely love to because yeah it's just you know such an important charity and I just oh I have so much love for Amicus it's unreal (laughs) so yeah but also if anyone has any questions for Bernie about being a student rep type them in the chat or there's a question feature it's quite cool um yeah I don't know how it works when you're on this side but I have been asking questions to people (laughs) from the other side (laughs) yeah I've seen your name this morning (laughs) Oh, thanks. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> and you guys are the best team I could ask for. So. <laughs> so how many people are in your team? I would say, so it's actually uh, quite a few of them are GDL students. So quite a few okay. of them have left, which is a bit sad. But Amber, just there, oh. she's a part-timer with me. So we're going to carry on. And we've got like a couple of undergrads as well. I would say like maybe five now that the other two GDL okay. Oh, that's yeah. really cool then. Yeah, and I'm hoping to really get in gear with the uh, recruiting and things. If if the world carries on being in person, you know. <laughs> I think in person it's so much easier to get people involved online. It's a bit like, I don't know, people find it easy to sort of sign up and then drop out. But in person it's a yeah. bit more like, oh, okay, I'll go to this, I'll do that. Exactly. And I think, yeah, like I, like I said, I was really, really lucky with the School of Law and how much they supported mm-hmm. Um, but I think, yeah, it would be, I could like jump in <laughs> Yeah, and my enthusiasm as well. It's hard, harder to sort of communicate over an email or something, you know? Yes, I Low- completely agree. <laughs> it's very difficult, but I know for sure that, so I'm a, I'm sort of just now finishing my degree, my yeah. undergrad, wherever I go for my LPC, Mm-hmm. I'm going to make sure that there's an Amicus student group there. I'm going to get involved. Absolutely. It's just, and, so, yeah. I don't know why you wouldn't want those opportunities, you know. It's just such a brilliant charity. Well, I was sat this morning thinking, why did the uni that I do my undergrad degree at, why don't they have an Amicus student group? I was like, what is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> so if anyone from BCU is watching, you need to make one or I will come back not I won't come back like to study if unless you let me in um (laughs) but I'll just come back as like a person to be like you're having a student group I don't care you will have one I think as well actually they've we've got um student rep applications open still until August so any university really just whack them up like whack them over it'll be amazing yeah I think that's a good thing 
that's a good point to add that the applications are open so if anyone's you know at uni start maybe even starting at uni i don't yeah. know um and if you're interested apply go for it I, do you want to talk a bit about how the applications work for that because i don't know anything about it yeah so it was it was really easy it was um nice and kind of like a simple process it was um you just applied via like a i think it's like a google docs form um and then you interesting what do you do next see interestingly i had mine like last year like so because i've applied again for this year but we haven't done the like second bit i think it was just a google docs form and then i think okay i had a chat with them or not or if they email saying yay um wow that was a really bad answer to that question but yeah, i don't I think it was great <laughs> i don't remember it being difficult or um complicated it was nice and yeah painless you know so there we go no one's got any reason to not apply basically because it's super easy so why yeah. would you not <laughs> and the people that you get to meet is just incredible you know and yeah yeah it's that's brilliant so if we don't have any more questions i think we can leave it there perfect I'll unless just... anyone has dying questions that they want to ask now go for it speak now or you know. <laughs> yeah we love answering questions i love it i know yeah oh it doesn't look like it no Fantastic. okay well we can only everyone. Thorough, that they don't need to ask any questions <laughs> <laughs> well thanks for coming to this live um no don't forget to continue supporting amicus everyone who's watching yeah. just stay in touch with us throughout the day keep on watching our lives um <laughs> and yeah donate to us because <laughs> it's such good work that amicus really? does and it's so important so thanks everyone thank you thanks for joining me i'm really jealous of your garden That's okay oh, I, know. <laughs> I just put an umbrella up outside because i was dying a little bit it was too warm i was like i'm gonna be it's melting just... away <laughs> yeah anyway thanks everyone bye bye